guys and welcome back to Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes that impress with ease. This Valentine's, I'm going to be bringing date night home with a romantic dinner for two. I'm going to share with you how I prepare my pan-seared salmon in brown buttered sauce and I'm going to plate it on a bed of creamy mashed potato. If you enjoy watching my recipes, don't forget to like and subscribe. So now let's get started. This recipe gets ready really fast. It takes just about 10 minutes. So I suggest having all the ingredients out ready to go. We're going to start by cutting the salmon into two fillets. And now we're going to put some salt and pepper to season it. You're going to flip it and repeat the process on the other side too. While the fish is seasoning, we're going to prepare our brown butter sauce. To prepare the brown butter sauce, I'm using two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm using a cast iron skillet to prepare this. You can use any oven proof skillet that you have. We're going to cook the butter till it browns and that's going to bring out a lovely nutty flavor to the butter. Now that our butter has browned, I'm going to add one tablespoon of garlic. Now that the garlic has fried up a bit, I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey. Because this is date night, I'm going to be adding some wine to it. If you're preparing this for children or it's just for a regular night's dinner, you can totally avoid putting the wine. We're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice and one teaspoon of lemon zest. Now we're going to cook this a little bit till it reduces and all the flavors nicely combine. Now we're going to place the salmon fillets in this and let it cook for a little while. When you find that your salmon is changing color and it's about halfway pale, you want to flip it over so it cooks on the other side. I'm going to glaze the salmon now with the sauce on the top so that the flavor gets in on both sides. I cook the salmon for about four minutes on each side and they're almost done. Salmon cooks very fast and it can dry up if it's overcooked. Now I'm going to add some lemon to it and I'm going to put it in the broiler to finish it off. I'm going to place it now in the broiler just for about three minutes. We're now going to be preparing the mashed potato. For this I've used four Yukon gold potatoes and the process from boiling to mashing the potato is linked in my video above. To the mashed potato, I'm going to be adding half a cup of warm half and half cream. You can use full cream if you like, or you can even use just whole milk. Now I'm going to mix this with a hand mixer, which has a whisk attachment to it. You can just use a spoon, but I want that lovely creamy texture, so I'm using a hand mixer. To this, I'm going to be adding half a stick of unsalted butter, which is at room temperature. And we're going to add it in, say, three parts because we want the butter to get nicely mixed in. Into this, I'm going to grate about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. This is going to give a nice sharp flavor to the mashed potato. Since I added Parmesan cheese to the potato mash, I'm not going to be adding any more salt because it has just the right amount of salt for me. But if you want, you can add more salt to your taste. And if you have not added any of the Parmesan cheese, then I would suggest adding salt to it. Now to this, I'm going to be adding some freshly ground pepper. And we're going to give it the last whisk. Wow, just see how creamy the potato mash looks.
I hope you give this recipe a try for your Valentine's dinner. I have an amazing dessert for you coming up next week, so don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.